Confused. I'm your headmaster of horror, Dave the Bomb, and uh, today we're talking about one of the best, creepiest pastas I've ever come across. And thank you guys so much for suggesting this. Uh, this is The Emotionless. The story of The Emotionless is one of the weirdest stories I think I've come across on the internet. And it's just exploding with its popularity right now. I think because it's just so... Ooh, just... It just... Oh man, it's, it chills you to your bones. A long time ago at Cedar sinai Hospital, a woman came in asking for help. But there was something really, really off about this woman. Something that just chilled people to the bone. Something that just dropped your heart into the pit of your stomach when you looked at her. She came into the hospital wearing a white dress, but the dress was covered with strips of blood. Not only was she covered in black blood, but she had what looked to be some sort of animal dead in her mouth. Blood pouring from the fur of the dead animal. She walked up to the desk of the emergency part of the hospital and said nothing. Just stared into the eyes of the nurse running the desk. They quickly brought her into an emergency room and that's when they noticed that her face almost looked like it was made of plastic. There was no way for her to show emotion as if her face was part mannequin. When they removed the animal from her mouth, she laid motionless. She said nothing. She barely breathed. They asked her her name, what was wrong, where she came from, what the emergency was. She just said nothing and laid there in the hospital bed. Nurses and doctors just pulled into the room to see this lady that everybody was talking about. And some of these nurses and doctors, after seeing her, visibly got ill and had to leave the room as quickly as they came in. Two doctors stayed, one male and one female, and several nurses. But the doctors were starting to get a really bad feeling about it. So they actually called security to come to the room just in case things went south. Again, they tried to ask her what was wrong, what the emergency was, but she said nothing and just stared off into space with a lifeless look upon her face. Well, the doctor tried to put in an IV or take blood or something, and she went berserk. And she was kicking and screaming and slashing with the long jagged nails at the nurses and doctors around them. Essentially, she leapt from her bed and pinned the male doctor against the wall, staring dead into his eyes. She then revealed one of the most devilish smiles anyone could think of, showing that her teeth were like those of a piranha, like a rabid animal. She had foamy spit pouring out of her mouth and her teeth were jagged like glass. She bit into the doctor's neck, tearing out his throat and his jugular, him dropping to the ground, trying to hold the pieces of his neck together. Everybody in the room started screaming and trying to get out of the room as quickly as possible. She knelt down next to the male doctor and whispered into his ears, I am God then quickly turned around, gazing upon the other people in the room and attacking them with full force, killing several people. The only person left from that experience that lived was the female doctor. And she was the one who named her the Emotionless. Now, after murdering several people, this crazed lunatic with an emotionless face ran off out of the hospital and was never heard of again which in itself is bone chilling but no one knows the origin of this girl and why she had the facial deformities that she had people say it could have been a girl that was 
you know, kept prisoner and experiments were done on her. And essentially, that's why her face was made of plastic. Some people also say that she was born with this skin and this face. And because of that, she was kept hidden away like some hideous monster by her family. And that her family were outrageous, just God-fearing people and basically called her a demon for being born with sharp teeth and almost plastic-like skin. And because she was kept as a secret for so long and always looked down upon for being almost a mistake from God when she escaped and killed a doctor, she whispered in his ears, I am God, as a defiance to the people that kept her captive for her entire life. Where is she now? Nobody knows. But I can tell you that this is one of the best creepy passes I've ever heard. What do you think? What do you think of the emotionless? How does this story make you feel? Leave it in the comments below. If there's other creepy passes that you want me to cover, leave in the comments below. Like and share this video. And check out our David Confused merch. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel. I hope to see you again soon. I'm Dave, still confused, and uh, at least our dogs aren't werewolves. Yo, yo.